What? <sighs> hey there, hackers. I've got a bunch of plans ahead. In fact, one of my favorite ones is plan number nine. Let's take a look at how to install it. Do you want to install it? Let's go ahead and hit number one on the menu and enter. So do we want to use DMA for the IDE drives? Yeah, sure, why not? Mass port, yeah, sure, this is a VM. VGA, okay. Monitor, yeah, doesn't really matter here. First thing that you're gonna wanna do here is just, you know, well, run the defaults. You can install the following types of file systems. We will take them as they give it. All right, so do we wanna partition the disk? Okay, so this shows the hard disks that we have. So let's just go ahead and set SDC0, which is our hard disk. Install the master boot record. This is basically their version of disk or F disk. All we need to do right here is simply hit right quit. Well, technically W and then Q. Okay, great. Now it's gonna prep the disk. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna subdivide that partition. Yep, 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 yep. And another right and another quit. Do that. Fossil mount partition to format. Let's just go ahead and try this. Fantastic. Mount FS. I mean, really, most of this is just hitting enter the whole time. So we've got a couple different ways. We've got local, which means install it from the CD, or net, which means install it over the internet. I'm just going to go ahead and use the CD because I will always trust that to work. So now that we've got that, we just need to load it just to make sure it can copy all the files over. Hit enter. Fantastic, beautiful distribution disk, no default. So now we have to choose from the different storage media that Plan 9 detected. If we have Plan 9's Fossil, we have a Microsoft FAT, or we have the ISO CD-ROM. Just enter the CD, location of archives, browse will put you into the shell for the directory. Ah, see, this is the problem when you're so used to the old school Unix ways. And this should be it. This looks like it. Really, all you really need to do here is just type exit once you get out of there, and then it will load everything from there because it knows to search there. You shouldn't have to change to any directories, but that's what your contents would basically look like from the CD. And then copy the distribution. Wow, this reminds me of Temple OS with the you know little bar across the screen, only it's a lot prettier. So let's let that finish. Cool. Okay, so it looks like it got that done pretty doggone quick. Let's just go ahead and do boot setup. Enable boot method. Okay, so what we are doing here at this screen is just basically determining how are we going to boot the system. Are we going to use a floppy disk? Are we going to use the Plan 9 partition that we've made? Or a Windows boot menu option? Let's just go ahead and do Plan 9 because this is a virtual machine. Install the Plan 9 master boot record. You bet your baby. So, looks like it was successful because all we have left is to just finish, which finishes the installation and reboots. So let's try that. Oh wow, we actually have to take the install disk out and turn off the computer manually. It just halted the file system so we wouldn't screw anything up. Pretty good of them. Let's see if it works. Okay, so when you get to this command line screen, just hit enter once and then it will ask you for a user. If you have none, it will have no user and it's just going to be stuck in command line mode. You want to type in G-L-E-N-D-A for Glinda. Now let's make sure that it did work. Will it load the user interface? Well, that's the basics of installing Plan 9 because you got to have a backup plan when you're stuck at home on a rainy, snowy day. Thanks for watching, have fun, and Patty Hacking! Cool!